We're trying to upgrade our golf cart to lithium batteries. These are getting old and worn out. Um, one thing we're discovering is just can't look at voltage and amp hours. You got to look at how many amps your golf cart is pulling at a time. So we have this amp meter and we're going to just test it because we have a lithium battery ready to go in. It just keeps blowing the internal battery battery management system. So let's do some quick baselines and see what it pulls. Just turning things on. All right, so we're gonna just flip it to run. It's not even pulling enough to measure. Turn the key on. Let's turn the lights on. We might have to drop it down to our 60 amp instead of 600 amp measurement oh, there we go so with the lights on and run the key on we're pulling a max of 2.1 amps just did some light driving around normal with a little bit of a heavy acceleration and we're pulling 143.9 144 amps so that's probably about as much as we would pull from a battery in a normal situation so I think the 200 amp max would work for us. Well, let's start again. Forgot to hit uh, record the first time. So here we go. I see the numbers counting this time. So what we're trying to do is figure out what our, what amps we're pulling. And so we're gonna use the max setting on this. We're on DC, 600 amp max. The battery that we bought is only 200 amp max. But we're not going to be able to get over 200 except when we do the heavy load test up the hill here in a bit. So let's just see what our normal numbers are driving around as we get up to the hill. And it's going to be, what was it just now? 140 with our With your accelerating moving. heavy. 140 yeah, was our max under normal driving. So let's go get ourselves caught in a ditch uphill and see how it is. But I'm going to clip it on now so we can see what we're pulling. Um, just driving up to the hill, light driving. 37.3, 38, 63, 70, let's go up the hill a little bit here. Tiny hill, we'll get ourselves caught in this little dip here. Oh, go up a little bit, get the back wheels caught in the dip. Up a little bit more. Okay, back up a little bit. All right, I'm going to drag my feet too. So far, our max just going up, bouncing around, playing on the hill is about 100. So Jennifer's going to gun it as hard as she can. I'm going to drag my feet and try to stop us from moving. And... We'll see. I'll bet we'll get about 2.30 if I really push hard with my legs in the opposite direction. Everybody ready? Okay. You ready? Go! <laughs> ah, I'm getting weak. 2.22.4. So on our new battery, we definitely would have triggered the BMS. Um, so we obviously we can't play around like that and heavy accelerate out of ditches going uphill um, But that was never really our concern anyway Okay, so we reset it and we're gonna do just some normal driving around Okay, go ahead. All right, so we're at zero. Just go down the tree line Let me turn it back on. And back I'm Just turning it on pulls zero amps. Well pull some but we did the test with just turning it on and it was negligible amps and then we turned the lights on and that brought it up to a whopping two amps. So currently at 70.4. And this is about what we do with the kids. Just driving around leisurely. I'm sure going up hills 
we do 140 drive around go up that little hill again just normal driving so we can see what it does make sure we understand all this stuff 72 is our current so that's still with a new lithium battery should be able to handle all of this kind of driving just fine there are some bigger hills but this one's good enough we got the kids in the car we weren't really planning on doing all this again we used 100.4 going up that little hill but it does show that our golf cart isn't pulling excess amps or wasting amps or killing the batteries or being harsh so let's go up here pour park let's uh unhook everything pull out these super heavy batteries and put in the lithium